Back a few winters ago, I got a little touch of cabin fever and decided that it was time to get my bicycle out. Uh, it was around March at that point. We had had quite a bit of snow that year. And my solution for riding in the inhospitable winter was to spike up a set of tires, as you can see here. These are the tires that I made that winter, where basically what I did was I took a regular mountain bike tire and I used a screw gun and I put a whole bunch of Phillips head screws into the tire so that they would poke out the bottom of the tire and grip onto the, um, the ground. And I rode it around a bunch in the snow and it was, uh, it was mildly successful. The, um, what I realized in doing this um, was that in the snow what you want is not necessarily some pointy sharp thing that sticks into the snow but in the snow you want a real wide flat tire and so um, it, while this was a fun thing to do it didn't quite do what I set out to do. What this would have really been good for is to make an ice bicycle and we have uh, cranberry bogs around here so uh, the bogs when when the winter works right the bogs get all frozen over and um, it makes for very good ice skating and um, just big huge expanses of ice um, to make it as a straight ice bicycle you'd have um, a spike tire on the front and on the back and um, I'm also hearing lately about this thing called an ice velocipede, which is basically a bicycle that one of the wheels has been taken off and replaced with a skate, which um, this would be very good for the drive wheel because it would really grip onto the ice and, and you get a very good grippiness onto the, onto the um, ice. It would probably also decrease the likelihood that your back wheel would kick out. Um, if you were making a turn or something because your your tires your spikes would really grip into the ice it might make the um, ice skaters unhappy these are a couple of screws that um, that I thought had some relevance to this these ones look very similar to the screws that I used for this these ones are number 10 so I'd guess that the screws that I used here are number eight. You could probably use a number six as well. S um, smaller um, shaft on the screw. And um, one of the things that's nice about this is that it's got a flat head that um, rests onto the bottom of the tire, the inside of the tire. These ones here are wood screws and they have a tapered head on them. This probably wouldn't be so good because it wouldn't, it wouldn't grip the material of the tire all that well. These ones over here I think are pretty good because they have a nice big wide flat pan head and if you were to use these ones that would be great. Another feature that's important to use in the screw is a self tapping screw and um, what that'll do is that'll allow you to kind of get it positioned right and then uh, with a screw gun you can put it so that it um, it just drills right in. Now originally I tried to aim the screws so that they went through the big thick parts of the rubber on the tire. Um, after a while I decided that that wasn't as important. Uh, also I made this band that goes on the inside of the tires and what this does is it protects the tube from rubbing against the metal of the screws and uh, this worked out pretty good. It was a little bit tricky to make because you have to measure the inside circumference of the tire and then make a uh, band of duct tape and then stick another band of duct tape to it so that it is removable, it doesn't stick to the tire. Although I suppose you could just just tape the inside of the tire. So a grippy bicycle tire for your 
ice skating pleasure. Uh, would be very nice for an ice velocipede and um, at the very least it was kind of a fun winter project, end of winter project in that case. Uh, but it doesn't have to be an end of winter project. You could get your bicycle all ready and um, ride it throughout the winter on the frozen lakes or frozen ponds or cranberry bogs. Have a blast.